Hey guys, Sasha here from NetbookNews.com. We are at uh, San Francisco. It's next to the IDF. Arm already introduced us uh, to Jensen Young from uh, Newfront. And they're going to make a great announcement today, which is especially interesting for the Chinese market. So, uh, Jensen, could you please introduce uh, your new platform over here? Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, okay, my, my name is Jensen, and I'm the director of IC Design uh, from Newfront. And what I'm here to show everyone today is uh, this new uh, exciting chip we got and uh, the system we got. Okay, um, if you notice, take a look at this um, box here. And uh, in the middle of this PCB board, we, what we got is uh, this chip under the, this heatsink here. This effectively is a single chip computer. If you notice on this board, all we got is a, a memory, memory dim sodium and a hard drive and that's pretty much it as far as any functional um, IC is concerned and and this single chip actually has this, the ARM um, A9 dual core um, CPU that runs at um, up to two, uh, two gigahertz. Mm. Okay. So Jensen, that's actually the first Cortex A9 yes. dual core that is running at uh, 2 gigahertz, and just to give you an idea, the NVIDIA Tegra 250, which is all sort of Cortex A9 dual core, runs at 1 gigahertz. So, this is right now the fastest A9 or Cortex A9 in the on the world. Planet, on the planet, yes. <laughs> and um, this particular SOC also includes um, all the necessary circuitry for the DRAM and all the IOS, USBs, and uh, HDMI's, VGA's, and um, an SD card interface as well, and, and all the audio that goes with it. So effectively, you can build a complete uh, laptop or you know, network or laptop type of device with the product of this particular device. Mm -hmm. And just to give you an idea about the power consumption, because I think that's very impressive, yeah. what Jensen told us for, let's say, an average usage scenario, um, it will be around 2 watts. Yes, that's uh, based on our design and our uh, latest measurements from the lab. That's what we're expecting it to be. And um, so that this with this TDP uh, will allow us a, a, a lot of a very mobile phone factor Absolutely. in the end product. So we are looking forward to um, you know great product that's going to come from this new, new chip within the next six months a year. I mean a lot of a lot of it, this particular chip is already being designed in to a lot of product as we speak, and um, at the earliest date, we're going to see something uh, product based on this chip is uh, by Christmas of this year. So that's very aggressive, and that's going to be you should be able to see this in, in it is in Chinese market. I think that's that's going to be a reality. And so we're going to see notebooks, netbooks, tablets, all-in-one PCs, desktops little laptops, whatever, at a very, very aggressive price point. Yes, that's right. I, I think you told us something for $250 all-in-one desktop PCs. Yes, that's so awesome. this is going to be a complete game changer. And uh, yeah, a fantastic new platform. And we just can't wait to get our hands on one of, of these and to see final products. Well, why, don't we, uh, why don't we play the, the, the great demo? Okay. Yeah, we have a couple of yeah. uh, HD okay, video. videos over yeah. here. Yeah, let me let me put on the video. This is the Star Trek clip. So that's a 720p. 720p. Yes. Of course, it's also capable of running 1080p, right? Yeah, it's capable of 1080p. I think, but I may not have the other camera clip. Mm -hmm. Just trust us, it also runs 1080p in this quality. And as you can see, it's a fabulous design. Yes. And, you know... The chip does get warmer. But yeah, it's... It, but it, that's being optimized as... as we right, right. So yeah, very, very interesting uh, announcement from Newfront. Thank you so much, Jensen. And you guys should really take a look at the Newfront platform because this is going to be a game changer. I'm very sure about this. Sasha for netbooknews.com over here in San Francisco. Thanks for watching.